Jurassic Park got it terribly, horribly wrong. DNA doesn't survive millions of years trapped in the digestive tract of mosquitoes and amber. That's okay, it's just science fiction. Does that mean that all our childhood hopes of seeing a real live non-avian dinosaur are crushed into burrito paste? No, well, uh, sort of. There's a book that delves into an alternate future in which technology has advanced to such a degree that the genes of the ancient archosaurs are reawakened in the genome of the living dinosaurs, giving humanity a look into the past. Andy Fraser is an artist from Wales. His specialty lies in digital illustration and creature design. Over the last few years, he's been able to come up with many alternate worlds in which one group of animals or another have been able to survive through any number of alternate possibilities. His main project is the Dragons of Wales, which details the evolutionary trajectory of small pterosaurs had they not gone extinct with the non-avian dinosaurs. In short, they became dragons. Another project he's worked on for a while is Novasaurs. Novasaurs takes what's already been hypothesized and experimented on, with the Chickenosaurus project started by paleontologist Jack Horner and extended it into its natural science fiction endpoint. The first Novasaurs book told the story of the domesticated dinosaurs of a possible near future. The fictional Evo D Bioscience Corporation created Novasaurs by manipulating the embryonic development of modern birds and began selling them to the public in 2047. Consumer demand was huge, and within a few years, dozens of increasingly exotic breeds were available. Check out my first video covering this project to get a fuller exploration of the lore. Inevitably, the public were always going to want something more something new. To paraphrase Jurassic World's Henry Wu, bigger, cooler, more teeth. And so, work began on a new generation of Novasaurs, like this early prototypical naked variety here. Like their predecessors, the second generation of Novasaurs are primarily created by manipulating the embryonic development of birds. However, in order to recreate the classic dinosaurian features that the public were clamoring for, the eggs are also genetically modified and hybridized prior to fertilization and development. This enables the creation of breeds which possess characteristics which, at least superficially, are closer to the public's idea of what a dinosaur should be. These characteristics include larger overall size, reduced feathering in some cases, and often more powerful musculature. Ironically, many of the first generation Novasaurs were actually closer to the true appearance of their prehistoric relatives. But the public desire for dinosaurs which better matched their preconceptions was overwhelming. Naturally, for a commercial enterprise, Evo D was quick to respond to consumer demand. Put simply, the first generation Novasaurs could be described as birds with some reawakened dinosaur characteristics. The second generation are dinosaurs with some vestigial avian characteristics. Evo D in their scramble to match public demand, have created large, herbivorous variants that resemble the Therizinosaurs and Ovaraptorosaurs. Many of these are unsuitable for domestic consumers due to their size and threat level. Much of Evo D's development efforts were directed towards the creation of Novasaurs, which mimicked the appearance of the best-known and loved dinosaurs from popular culture. In many cases, this was achieved by hybridization with other birds, reptiles, and amphibians, rather than by awakening dormant genetic traits. The approach taken with the first generation of Novasaurs, like Spinosaur and Tyrannosaur variants, that definitely won't have unforeseen consequences, I'm sure. Some of these second generation Novasaurs are substantially larger than their predecessors, and whilst careful engineering has moderated their natural predatory instincts, their sale remains restricted to wildlife parks and a tiny handful of private collectors with the facilities to handle such potentially dangerous animals. Needless to say, the public's desire to see these large dinosaurs quickly resulted in the creation of dozens of new Novasaur parks around the world, 
and many existing parks and zoos began to incorporate the larger novasaurs into their existing collections. These novasaur parks, in addition to being highly profitable ventures in their own right, also drove sales of these smaller, domesticatable breeds, and Evo D's stock price soared to an unprecedented high. Numerous second-generation varieties have been developed which, whilst still having an authentic dinosaur appearance, are much smaller, more manageable, in some instances even trainable, and better suited to domestic consumers, just like their first-generation predecessors. The hybridization process means that these miniature breeds, despite their size, can still exhibit the physical characteristics and proportions of their much larger relatives. Likewise, their behavior and temperament have been carefully selected and engineered to ensure that they can be handled and cared for by inexperienced owners. Who knows what other types of novasaurs the Evo D Corporation will come up with next. As Andy Frazier states, a brief word about ethics, the Novasaurus books takes their inspiration from real-world research, the so-called Chickenosaurus project. This is where any connection ends. This research has been mired in controversy, with many highly respected scientists questioning not only the ethics of creating animals in this way, but also the scientific benefits of even attempting to do so. Speaking personally, I feel this research crosses an ethical line and is not something I endorse. Nonetheless, the ideas that underpin it are fascinating and worthy of exploration via the safe mediums of illustration and the written word. As such, the Novasaur's books are an exercise in speculation, imagining what such animals might look like, how they might be commercialized, and how we might respond to and interact with them remains a fascinating and exciting idea. That's all the material that exists of Novasaur's 2, for now. We must now bring our attention to you. In order to make Novasaurs 2, Andy is launching a Kickstarter campaign, and since the first Novasaurs video did so well with you guys, I figured it would be right to sort of partner with him to try to get as many eyes on the Kickstarter as possible. Like the previous volume, Novasaurs 2 will be an A5 sized book, printed on high quality 170 GSM silk paper with heavy 300 GSM laminated soft covers. Provisionally, the book will contain 80 pages, but a stretch goal has been set which, if met, will expand this to 100 pages. The book will tell the story of the development of these second-generation Novasaurs, with numerous full-color illustrations. The majority of the new breeds will be commissioned by backers of this campaign, who pledge at the Designosaurus tier. Each breed will have its own dedicated page, featuring a color illustration, statistics, and brief description. You can make a pledge without a reward, but the only fun is that if you, like me, are poor and can only give a dollar, that's way better than nothing. The first tier is 10 pounds or 12 bucks USD, and you get a PDF copy of Novasaurus 2, plus any unlocked stretch goals. Tier 2 is 15 pounds, 20 bucks, and it gets you PDF copies of Novasaurus 1 and 2, plus any unlocked stretch goals. Tier 3 is 16 pounds 20 bucks, and you get physical and PDF copies of Novasaurus 2, plus any unlocked stretch goals. Tier 4 is 28 pounds 35 bucks, and you get physical and PDF copies of Novasaurus 1 and 2, plus any unlocked stretch goals. Tier 5 is the same as Tier 4, but you get two physical and PDF copies of Novasaurus 2. The tier after that is 50 pounds, 63 bucks, because it gets you two physical and PDF copies of both Novasaurs 1 and 2. The last tier, the aforementioned Designosaurus tier, is 100 pounds, 127 bucks, which gets you all previous rewards, plus you get to have Andy design your own Novasaur for this book. Your Novasaur will have its own page in the book, with accompanying notes and statistics. If you wish, you can also receive a high-quality, signed, A4-sized art print of your Novasaur by adding an additional £25 to your pledge. Of course, this tier also includes access to regular project updates, any unlocked stretch goal rewards, physical and or digital, plus your name will feature in the book's credits. The initial goal to get Novasaurus 2 in your hands is £7,500, 9560 bucks. 
Since Novasaurus 1 was able to reach its goal, I am sure Novasaurus 2 will as well, especially considering its greater diversity in dinosaur variants. However, were it to surpass the initial goal, it has two stretch goals. At 12,500 pounds, 15,935 USD, 20 extra pages with 20 extra Novasaurs will be unlocked. Stretch goal 2 is 15,000 pounds or 19,122 USD. This will unlock a double-sided A3 poster featuring all the new Novasaur species commissioned as part of this Kickstarter. The campaign starts August 15th and ends September 17th. So, get your pledge in today. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, like this video, drop a comment in the comment section below, and hit the bell icon to stay in the know with everything Edge. Thanks for watching.